been a problem for him. Now, 8 for 29, he is their most prolific three-point man. Obi, that's been the problem for both these teams. Neither have shot the basketball well in their first four games of the season. Tyrese Radford, preseason second team all SEC, and that's going to roll in. And you see early in this game, Budis Wahab at 6'11", wearing number 22 for the Nittany Lions, one of the better names in college basketball these days. From the corner, and that one is going to be knocked down by Zach Hick. Off the bench, but does the majority of that damage on the offensive glass. Blue guy out of Mississippi State. Shot clock winding down, but a quick strike underneath for Radford. But he enjoys, you see, just he looks like he's having fun on the defensive end of the floor. How about this scoop shot up and in by Radford? And so far, I mean, we're just minutes into the tournament, but that's the play of the tournament. It so absolutely far. is, and we could talk about having fun. Tyrese Radford's having fun thus far. Three buckets for him already. And that was a work of art. Wahab on the low block. He'll kick it out. Here's done. Got it. <laughs> that, that's that's right. what you get at the Wild World Sports. You got a field house and an arena here. Yeah. And a major league quality diamond right next door. Up and in for two. Curtis Wahab going in strong. The 6'11 grad. Those who are going to be lucky enough to play at the next level. There are subtle differences like that in rules. There absolutely are a lot of subtle differences that you can get away with in college basketball that you can't in the NBA. And by taking on Butler, that's our next game on ESPN2 here at the ESPN Events Invitational. On the back down, Wahab may have dragged the foot and got away with it. Tip is up and good. I think Wahab's going to get credit for that basket even though he didn't touch it. <laughs> it was two Texas A&M defenders who actually tipped that one in, but Wahab will take those two points. Well, something's got to give in this one. Both teams undefeated. Ten with a blow by right through for two. Trying to box out. I think he was clean. Johnson on the attack. Flips it up. What a difficult shot, but he gets it to go. Rolling to the basket. Radford for two. Well, <laughs> and for Texas A&M, they started off the same way they started the game. Baldwin got to look at the shot clock down to six. He'll drive it, look for the bank, and it's not there. Lawrence with the rebound. And a great job by Garcia and Henry Coleman getting in there and contesting without foul. Coleman, tough drive, made it, and he'll go to the line. Starring at Virginia Tech back in the day. Hank, of course, my AAU teammate. Old Richmond Metro teammates. Dunn picked up his second foul. They'll get a second effort. Another offensive rebound for the Aggies. Man, did they crush the glass, the offensive glass in particular. Garcia, oh, what a strong drive that was. This is a rematch of the NCAA tournament, which Penn State won in their meeting last year. Difficult shot there, and count the basket. Puff Johnson will be at the line, too. Shot clock, a factor, down to two. Taylor drive it off the window and in time. Nice touch by Taylor. Great defense, but the offense even better on that possession. 41-34, the Aggies. He's Baldwin playing with a couple of fouls. Can't hit there. And that last foul he was pretty upset about. We were kind of on his side, too, at the end of the first half. Jumper on target for Taylor. Tony alone has seven state championships. Boy, the pressure might pay off here, but Coleman goes down strong for it. Here's Hefner with a jumper. He drains it. They almost got the turnover, almost the key phrase. Texas A&M comes up with the triple. And now Texas A&M 4 for 11 from beyond the three-point arc. Ooh, Wahab going in strong and draws the foul. He's going to step outside. Shot clock inside, 10. Trying to get Coleman going. Wahab Blocked there by Wahab. Second effort, though, is good. Offensive rebound to Henry Coleman. Baldwin gives it up here for Kern. He wants to take it strong for the dunk. What a quick step. And he got up in a heartbeat. Kern trying to baseline. Here's Baldwin open. Yes, it'll go. He puts his hands up like, I'll take it. Hey, listen, the banks aren't open on Thanksgiving anyway, so you got to take it. Any other time, I might say take it off the board, but not today. This is a three-point game. Penn State on a run. Garcia gives it up for the slam by Solomon Washington. Nice find from Ace Baldwin. Very quietly, the Aggies are getting a oh, strong game. Hands. That one's going to be knocked away by Solomon Washington. Been crashing the glass. Here's Johnson. Got it.
buzz on that possession. It'll be interesting to see how long he sticks with that. Can they open up a bit of a lead? Coleman takes the hit. He'll go to the line. You hit him, and he doesn't feel it. He hits you. You'll feel it for a week. Yes, they did. Dusty May doing a great job. Dusty May getting involved in practice yesterday. Up and in. Taylor, count that. Rhodes has to be able to bring DeMarco Dunn and Puff Johnson off the bench. Two North Carolina guys. Yeah, great hands by Wahab on that possession. Clary spins, fires. Yes, sir. In this game, it looked like Texas A&M was going to break away. But here come the Nittany Lions again. Coleman off the iron. That hung up there all night. 63-58. Kern spins it in and draws the foul. Nick Kern attacking. Died seven minutes to go. We've got a ball game here. Absolutely do. These two teams have gone at it from the start. And we expected nothing less. But on that topic of going at it. You know, Henry, Hank, Aaron. Lebec wild beast. I mean, you got to be playing to make that happen. As this one tightens up. 66 to 63. And a three-point game as we approach the six-minute mark. Game hasn't been tied since it was 24 to 24. He's gonna rip it free, and another foul here as Coleman will head back to the line. Carter certainly a three-point threat. He'll penetrate instead. Stops. Banks hits it. Brand new team for Penn State, but you can see this game has been played with high level of intensity between these two. It sure has. Carter went for the window. Coleman there and lays it right back up. He continues to be the man in this game with 21. No answer for Henry Coleman on the offensive glass. Larry again. Oh, what a tough angle to bank it in. Well, the stars beginning to shine here over these last five or six minutes. Yeah, we kind of figured we'd be talking about these guys coming in, including this guy, Wade Taylor, the fourth, getting downhill, attacking the basket. You mentioned, OB, the stars are stepping up. Larry on one end, Coleman and Taylor on the other. Coleman to season I-21 to lead all scorers. Larry has come alive. Uh -oh. Give him two more. Uh-oh. To give me ace ball when is such a great defender guarding Wade Taylor. Knocked away, scooped back up by Taylor. He'll spin and fire. Got it! That was with like one on a shot clock. Please believe that they came in with that chip on their shoulder, remembering that tournament game a year ago. There's your final score, Texas A&M, knocking up Penn State 89-77.